Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's decision to execute a 1,000 for one prisoner exchange last week, despite his frequently voiced opposition to such lopsided deals, is seen by several Israeli military commentators as an effort to clear the decks before possibly undertaking an attack on Iran's nuclear facilities. Amir Oran, the veteran military analyst for Haaretz newspaper, took note of Israel's exchanging of 1,027 Palestinian convicts for Army Sergeant uh, Gilead Shalit, um, on, who had been captured by Hamas in 2006. Mr. Orn wrote that the uh, price paid by Mr. Netanyahu and Defense Minister Ehud Barak can be interpreted only in a context that goes beyond that of the Gilead Shalit deal. He noted that Israeli leaders in the past have shown a readiness to absorb a small loss in order to obtain a greater success, generally involving some sort of military adventure. This, of course, would be more than just an adventure, but a major military attack. Mr. Oren also noted that, until recently, Mr. Netanyahu had faced opposition to attacking Iran from Army Chief of Staff General Gabi Ashkenazi and uh, Mazet Intelligence Chief Mir Dagan, both retired earlier this year and have been replaced by men believed to, to uh, hold a different view on Iran. At a press conference, Mr. Barak, in April, U.S. Uh, Defense Minister Leon Panetta stressed that uh, any steps against Iran's nuclear program must be taken in coordination with the international community. If this attack does take place, it will likely be done with uh, 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 or with the uh, blessing of the U.S. Of course, that is quite hypocritical given the U.S.'s uh, policy of go it alone, uh, such, an Iraq, such as Iraq. With this said, Israel is in no position to be executing an attack of this magnitude without international support, but the Lord may have other plans. It should also be mentioned, although the Bible does not account for an Israeli strike on Iran, uh, that doesn't mean that it won't happen. In other news, Bosnia's uh, trio of presidents said yesterday that uh, they could not agree on whether to support PA Chairman uh, Mahmoud Abbas's uh, statehood bid at the United Nations. Sarajevo may potentially hold a key vote in the uh, UN Security Council come January when it will rotate into the chairmanship of the 15-member body which has led Israel and PA officials to court Bosnia for its support. At present, Palestine says it has uh, eight of the nine votes necessary to move to the UN General Assembly vote. But things could change in Israel's favor for the, uh, the longer this process takes. There will be a shuffling of Security Council members come January 2012. Some nations who are a part of the eight votes for Palestinian UN recognition will be replaced by those who have not been or have not been made a solid commitment as of yet. Of course, the U.S. could veto the PA's plan uh, of UN recognition along the way. Many believe this would be disastrous, although for the U.S., essentially severing any remaining credibility with the Islamic world in future peace negotiations. But it could open up the door for the EU to step in and become the new Middle East peace brokers. This is especially important since the Bible says the man who brings peace to Israel and many will be a leader in the revived Roman Empire. Many believe in the prophecy world that this empire is today's present-day European Union. This is Terry Malone with the Calvary Prophecy Report.